Huan, you had a, a wild love scene with Margaret Robbie, which might be a dream come true for most of the guys. Is that to you? <laughs> it was. Uh, it was. Um... It's okay. I'm not okay. Each member is chosen for his or her own completely unique set of abilities. <laughs> Number two. Good to know. Hi, Peter. You know, Hi. you're a very successful and well known actor in UK. I'm actually very surprised to know that this is your first uh, movie that you ever actually made in the US. Yeah. It's a superhero film. Is that what you expected? No, it was a total surprise uh, and came out of the blue. And I'm delighted because I've never been in a in a superhero movie, uh, <laughs> and I'm very pleased to be in a superhero movie that's quite a a, a a bitter superhero movie. Quite a, it's not sweet. It's a sour. They're all a bunch of sour superheroes, and they, they, they bicker and they fight. It has a kind of sort of 70s vibe about it. You know, it's like an old war movie or something. And and, and I like the way that it's uh, it's like a, it is also like a graphic novel because James's vision is so right. vivid uh, and and cinematic and explosive. Right. Um, so it's a wonderful uh, job to have. So I was thrilled to be there. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. This is coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire on. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You know, you are the famous Doctor Who. So moving from Time Lord to become a super villain in a super villain film. Well, how does it feel like? Well, it's great because, I mean, the thing about Doctor Who is I hadn't really been known for being uh, a heroic. I didn't really play heroic roles. So when I played Doctor Who, that was a little more unusual for me to be a good guy. Really, I right. was more used to being a sort of badder guy. Um, but obviously, the thinker is a really bad guy. But my time on Doctor Who helped me because we often had to do scenes in the Suicide Squad with with monsters that weren't there, and right. blue screens and all. So I was used to all that stuff. But they just have much more money than we ever had on Doctor Who. So they, the costumes are all better, the monsters are all better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you actually see a starfish? Was it all CGI or you actually have a puppeteer on set maybe? Not for the big one, I never saw that, no. The big <laughs> one, no. So you uh, never know but, how it looks like? No, I knew what it looked like because they showed us. Uh, oh. They made animatronic, they made versions of the scenes. Right. We could, we could look at. And that was just to give us an idea, really, of what we'd be saying. And drawings, it's always nice to see. There's always lots of drawings yeah. and people have done paintings. So, so I knew it was that lovely color. I love the color. I thought it was a great color yeah. from, I from, love that too. from Monster. <laughs> I wonder whether Godzilla should have been that color. Things would have been different. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe next time we can um, tell the Godzilla crew to... Have a pink, have a pink Godzilla. <laughs> and uh, did you have fun in the makeup room? Because you're, I mean, the thinker, the yeah. style is crazy. Yeah. Well, it's so, um, I'm so grateful to the makeup team because w the job that they did was so convincing. Right. Uh, and looked so amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it took like four hours, like we were there from 4 a.m. Uh, to get ready for 8 a.m. And so I just sat in the chair and they just played music to me and, and I would got into a zen sort of place of... Because there's nothing you can do. What you have to really be aware of is they put a, 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 a skull, a, a, a cap on your head and if it gets itchy, you know you're not going to scratch that itch yeah, how do you do that? for like... You can't scratch it, so you know it's going to be 24 hours before you're going to get it off again. So wow. you've just got to put it out of your mind. Uh, but they were great. I thought they did an amazing job. They, and, and when I walked on the set, everyone was wow. Uh, and of course, it's not acting. It's just fabulous makeup. Is this thing a dog? A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm going to go with Afghan hound. Oh my god, is it a werewolf? Don't expect me to a werewolf! 
Yo, let me out! Hey, hey, he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, you know. <laughs> You know, I'm very curious because this is the first appearance for both of you in the Suicide Squad. So, how did you react to, I mean, when you know that you were gonna take part of in this universe? I was, I was thrilled to to know that I was gonna be part of, of the universe of the Suicide Squad, especially to be part of the universe of James Gunn. I mean, he Play. he he created a total new world for the Suicide Squad and. And I think a mind-blowing film. I mean, it's 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 it has it all. It's, it has the adventure, the romance, the violence, the thrill. Um, it really is something something else. Uh, Juan, you had a, a wild love scene with Margaret Robbie, which might be a dream come true for most of the guys. Is that to you? <laughs> It was uh, it was a, a wonderful scene to have, and it was a wonderful experience. I mean, first of all, because she's a not only a wonderful actress, but also a brilliant co-worker, and she's generous and kind and, and humble. And also, it was beautiful to watch her playing um, Harley Quinn. I mean, this right. is a character that she knows so well. She's played this character over the years many times, and so I. I, I consider myself very lucky to, to have done that. I think King Shark was my favorite character. It's just really stupid, but it's also really kind. New friends! <laughs> there are a lot of animals actually involved in this movies. You have shark, you have starfish, you have rats, and you have parrots. So which one is your favorite and which one annoys you the most? I love the, the King Shark. Oh, the King Shark. <laughs> yeah, he's fantastic. Uh, and he speaks. I love it. I love King Shark. Yes, yeah, me too. I think the boys. King Shark is fantastic. Yeah. The birds, though, I mean, they're beautiful, but they're complicated to handle. They cool. Yeah. That's actually my next question. I mean, I want to know how to work with the six little guys. I mean, I, I've heard that there are 60 parrots on set. <laughs> So is it as romantic as we seeing on screen? <laughs> no, I would I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. I mean to watch it to watch him from the outside, but but to be inside that cage, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> we both were inside. Remember, Joaquin? Yes. We both were inside what the happened? cage with the birds. They they just pull a lot. They pull all over. <laughs> they, they shit on your shoulder on your head the sheet everywhere <laughs> yeah not romantic i wouldn't take you to to a to a first date if you use one word to describe um director james gunn what would you say and why oh he's fantastic uh you you have to see the suicide squad the the universe the atmospheres atmospheres and everything is fantastic there. yeah i would say yeah genius it's it's a it's a, it's a word he's so creative it's beautiful to watch. You know, when you're there, he's afraid of nothing. Thank you so much. It's good to Thank talk you to so you. Much. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a real really pleasure. Thank you so, so much. You too. If you like this video, we're looking for a new video. We're looking for a new video.